Good evening. Sorry. It's been a little while. I've been busy. Uh, I've been going through a lot of different stresses and getting a little impulse eating in. So, you know, failed there. Had to go back to basics by cutting sugar, getting my intermittent fasting up, and, you know, making sure I took care of myself. Um, sometimes that's sometimes hard when you're doing through a lot of stress, and especially an impulse eater like me. Um, I haven't been much of a binge eater, but I'm an impulse eater. I'll just impulsely grab something to eat because I'm under stress. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times we face this stress and we fall off our plans. And the important thing is to get back on, especially for an impulse eater, because falling off plan can add up calories after calories after calories. So hopefully you're doing well on your plan. And remember, you know, if you ever fail, Go back to basics. Just remember what it took you to get started. Just remember you were sick and tired of being sick and tired. Literally. You know, I God, I was so tired. I, I ate some things I shouldn't have eaten. I did some things I shouldn't have done. And I, I didn't exercise nearly as much as I wanted to. And I was tired. And I hurt um, because I was starting to get inflammation back. And I was like, dude, this is why I stopped doing this stuff. This is, this is why I started down this path to get away from this and here I am right back at it this is kind of dumb so a lot of times this is the the weekend you, you, you go out on Friday no nah, it's okay I'll get back on plan Saturday but Saturday rolls around a whole bunch of stuff happens you say oh I'll get back on plan Sunday and then Sunday rolls around and then Monday you're like, well, you know, I, I didn't have time to do this. I didn't have time to prep. I didn't have, you know. So this is where you can quickly get completely out of control. And that's what happened to me. I, I, I came home for a weekend and uh, we were running around. We were doing things. The truck broke down and, and, and the water leaks and oh, well, we eat here and and we'll do this, oh, I'm hungry, got to get, get something, and then, you know, the doctor's appointments, got to eat something, because I've been fasting, and all the normal, stupid excuses, and you have to remember that's what they were, they were excuses, absolutely, 99% of the time, it's a complete excuse, that you just start randomly binge eating, impulse eating, falling off your plan, because... You have an excuse and it sounds good but it is an excuse all mine were absolutely excuses there was no rhyme no reason no cause for it it was silly it was stupid but back to basics so start cutting sugar made sure i was drinking the right drinks and you know then started eating the right foods and now i'm 25 hours into a fast not actually an intentional fast, but it's going so good, I might as well, you know, continue it on tomorrow. I got the foods I'm supposed to have weren't, you know, in my cooler because I'm out back out on the road. And I get back on plan. And when, when I get home, that's going to be where, you know, me and Patrick, I get on the same page as well. Because sometimes you fall off the plan because you and your spouse, me and Patrick, are complete enablers of each other. Your spouse can be your enabler. And you are your spouse's enabler. I mean, you see this with uh, drinking, with smoking, with eating. It's all the same. If one is doing it, the other one starts doing it because they're you're both on the same page. So you have to remember that. You have to work with your spouse. Because sometimes doing this alone, I tried this alone several times. Uh, this was a nightmare. Uh, very hard to do. Uh, it's possible. I mean, I, I started this uh, with Patrick not fully on board. Now he's on board, so it's easier. It's harder when your spouse isn't on board, but sometimes that's what you have to do. Um, and given enough time, your spouse will get on board with you. So it's, it's always been difficult for me to do something opposite of what my spouse is doing. We, 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 our relationship is... In, is so close knitted and, and we do so much together when I am home that especially eating it seems like eating is one of the things we do and we sometimes forget we have to eat the right things eating still okay eating still not the problem it's what you're eating that's the problem and so we had to get away from that we had to start you know we have to start making the better choices but like I said sometimes you fall off the plan and that's okay 
you've seen me several times say, you know, I had a bad week, I didn't do this, you know, um, because that's life. You know, as, at the end of the week, if you're gaining weight, you're losing weight. Those are the things that matter. And you have to accept yourself and you have to accept your failures. And I accepted that I failed. I totally accept it. I totally take credit for it and I'm okay with it. I'm over it and I'm moving on. And you have to understand your unhealthy relationship with food. Because I didn't get this weight um, with a healthy relationship with food. You know, I had, I had an unhealthy relationship with food. I used it to reward myself. I used it to comfort myself. I used it to calm my stress down. I, uh, I always used food in all the wrong ways. And, you know, it's easy when you're under stress and a lot of things are going on to fall back to your old ways. And that's okay. That's perfectly okay. What you have to do is get right back up on the bandwagon. And I think that's what I've done. I've uh, been doing great for the last couple of days, and I feel like I'm totally up on the bandwagon. So I hope you are successful. Forgive yourself, get back to basics, don't give up. Thanks.